Hi, thanks for gardening with me. I'm Melissa and today I'm so excited. I'm gonna be planting this Dwarf Globe Blue Spruce. I've been wanting one for so long. And if you stay tuned and watch the video, you can see how I got it for 50% off. So this is the Dwarf Blue Spruce that I'm gonna be planting. It is a Globe Blue Spruce, so it will Stay in a globe shape and the highest that it'll get is probably about three feet tall so it'll be perfect in this bed and this bed I originally wanted it to be all evergreens um, different colors different shapes and sizes um, with my male dog I wasn't able to spend a lot of money on things that I put in this bed um, but he's older now and um, and I have it so planted so thickly in here that he really can't get in here to get to things like he used to but this blue spruce, um, I have not been able to find them for less than $200. And today I was at Strader's and they had several of them that were 270, I think. And then I found this one, which was a little bit smaller um, for 115. And it has some damage to it. Um, so this spot right here, and I will zoom in so you can see that, it has a split in it so this whole branch there is going to have to come out and this has a split there that's going to have to come out so i uh, talked to the manager of the garden center and asked if i could get a discount on it which i always recommend if you see something that has some damage on it ask for a discount worst thing that can happen is they say no i was expecting 10 or 20 percent off they came back and told me i could have it for 50 percent off so i jumped on it i love it love the color of it so originally there was an ornamental pear tree here and it was kind of left to go wild and it um, was actually rubbing a hole in the roof of our house so we had to have it taken down and uh, so when i had it there i had planted this up as a shade garden and everything was doing great but since then it's become a full sun garden so i really want to replant everything here with some dwarf evergreens and um, i'm finding that the dwarf evergreens are so expensive so i'm just um, buying them one at a time here and there when i can find things on clearance or um, on sale the end of the season is a really good time for that as well but what i want to do is plant this right here where i have the irises now i love irises i really do but they don't look good right here um, so i'm going to be taking those out and i will show you how i remove those and i want to transplant them someplace else in my garden beds because they're purple and they smell like great but they're they're lovely so i'm going to be transplanting those and um so i'll get plenty of flowers out of that in the future and so this spruce is gonna be right here and I can't be more excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I get the irises out. Um, I'm probably gonna take out the day lilies that I have there as well. And um, I'm gonna amend my soil and I'll show you what I'm gonna use for that. So these are the two things that I have to amend the soil with. I'm gonna put a cup of polytone down in there and I'm gonna mix it with my soil that I have. And I also have this is called Posy Power, and I got this from Straters as well, and I'm gonna mix that in with the soil that I have and just give this spruce a really great head start. So my first step is I'm gonna go ahead and remove my mulch because this is mulch that we just laid this year and I wanna be able to keep it. So I'm gonna remove the mulch, move that over to the side. I'm gonna dig out my irises and cut them back and prepare them to be transplanted, move away my little anything else that I have in that area and then I'm going to prepare my hole and what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig the hole twice as wide as what the pot is right now and just as deep because I want this spruce to be planted in the hole just as deep as it is in the pot so I'm going to take that dirt that I get out of that hole just put it right here on the driveway mix in my holly tone with it mix in my posy power with it and um, it'll be nice and loomy. I'll put the pot back in the hole and then fill it in. And um, before I even put my plant down in the hole, what I'm gonna do is put water in the hole first so that it can um, just have plenty of water to soak those roots up. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that.
So here we have our hole, and what I did is I just used my handle of my shovel to measure across the pot of the plant and the depth of the plant. And um, I didn't get out a ruler or anything like that. And while I would say I am deep enough, it's definitely not twice as wide. But as I get to digging out in there, I'm finding that most of it is gravel and very hard to dig through. So here you can see I've put some water in my hole that I dug. And I'm just going to kind of keep an eye on it and see how long it takes to drain. That's always a good idea because you don't want to plant something in a hole that is going to have no drainage at all and the water's just going to sit in there. So I'll give it 10 or 15 minutes and see how well it does. So as you can see here, this tree has been bound with burlap and they say that you can leave the burlap on and just plant it burlap and all. I have never found that to be hugely successful, so I am going to cut it away. There's a deer right behind the camera <laughs> eating apples. So hopefully I can get a video of him without scaring him away, and if I do, I'll show you. So there are a few key takeaways that I would like for you to get when you are planting a um, evergreen or really any kind of shrub. The first one is make sure you amend your soil. I spoke to the people at the garden center to find out exactly what this plant needed to really thrive. And she recommended the holly tone to me, which um, I love as some of products anyway. So I would have used that to begin with. Um, and then I also use the flower power, which is a great amendment to my soil. Um, after I dug the soil, after I dug the hole wider than it needed to be, but the exact depth that it was in the pot, then I put water in the hole that I just dug so that when I put the plant in there that it would be able to take a nice big drink right from the start. I took the burlap off and the twine that was off from around the root ball so that the, the uh, roots could spread really nice and um, watered it. I filled the hole back halfway with soil, watered it again, filled it all the way with soil, watered it again, and I put my mulch back on there and I'm watering it again. And the whole time that I'm sitting here talking to you, I'm leaving the hose on so that it can get a nice deep drink, especially this time of year. It's hot, it's like 84 degrees out. So um, it's definitely gonna need good drink. I'm gonna make sure that for the next few days, I keep it really nice and hydrated. And um, through this entire video, that deer is still standing there eating apples and it's probably 20 feet from the camera. So that's it. Thank you so much for gardening with me. I hope that this gives you a little inspiration seeing me plant something that I am just so excited about. Um, some women like jewelry. I'll take a dwarf globe shrub any day of the week. So I really appreciate you watching this video. Hopefully it inspired you to get out into your own yard and plant maybe a globe spruce. Um, hopefully it inspired you to get out to your garden centers and see what they have out there. See if you can find something on clearance or marked down. And um, so thank you so much for gardening with me. I really appreciate it. Have a great week.